Uh, my name is Adam Lowy. I'm the founder and executive director of Move for Hunger, and I'm just so excited to be here today. Um, at this point, you're all here at Chicago Ideas Week, and you've probably heard the expression uh, in your life that doing good is good for business. Um, we hear this message over and over again, um, and what I want to really share with you today is how I've taken my family's small moving company in New Jersey and defined this how we've made that expression the heartbeat of the way our company operates and how we're doing the same for hundreds and hopefully thousands of other companies, not only across uh, North America, but across the world. Um, it really all started 90 years ago, back in New Jersey with my great grandfather. Um, he started a moving company, Lowy's Moving Service. And um, growing up in the moving industry, I, I had uh, the privilege of working on a moving truck. Um, that's what you do when dad owns a moving company. You get to work on a moving truck. So much fun. Um, and while I knew that I never wanted to do that for the rest of my life, I certainly gained an appreciation for the industry. And over the years, they moved everything, you know, big companies, small homes, individuals. Uh, but one thing became incredibly apparent. No matter who was moving or where they were moving, we realized that when people move, they throw away a lot of stuff. Show of hands if you've moved and thrown away some stuff when you relocated. Exactly. Food, clothing, furniture, you name it. When people move, they take this as that opportunity to purge their belongings and go to their new place. But what really bothered me was the, the amount of perfectly good, unopened, non-perishable food that was just going to waste. Um, people were leaving literal pantries full of food uh, in their homes. In fact, 35 million tons of food goes to waste in the United States each and every year. That's nearly half of all food that's produced in this country ends up in a trash can. I couldn't believe it. Um, all the same, there are 50 million Americans struggling with hunger in, in this country, 17 million of which uh, are children under the age of 18. Um, I, I thought to myself, there's got to be some sort of connection. There's got to be, you know, with, with such a huge problem in food waste and, and so many people hungry, why aren't more, more things being done to combat these things? I feel like they could kind of complement each other. Um, so it, it kind of led us to come up with this idea to just ask people that were moving to donate their food. Simple enough. It was a question. Um, my dad's company was in people's homes at the time when they were throwing away their belongings. So it, it literally just started as that. There was no move for hunger. There was no marketing materials or website. We just offered uh, people the opportunity to do something good. And in a month, from literally just asking a question, we collected 300 pounds of food from one question. And it, it really brought me to that, uh, my first realization that people want to do good. They want to help people. Um, they don't know how, they don't know where, but if you make it really easy, really simple, as simple as bringing a food drive into your living room, people are going to take that opportunity. Um, so I was beyond excited. Over the moon, we collected 300 pounds of food, and I brought it to my local food bank, the food bank of Monmouth and Ocean Counties. And I don't know if you've ever been to your local food bank here in Chicago or wherever you may have come from today, uh, but they really are incredible places, uh, places that are helping people get a, a leg up uh, and bringing them back uh, in, into where they need to be. Um, um, and they're serving an incredible population, not just uh, the typical stereotypical uh, individual that you think might utilize a food bank, but what we call the working poor, people that are forced to make difficult decisions uh, between buying food or maybe paying the rent or electric bill. Um, and I took a tour of my food bank, and that's where they told me that there were 100,000 people in my county they didn't have enough to eat. And this blew my mind. Um, I'd grown up in, in Ocean, New Jersey my entire life. Um, you know, it's the Jersey Shore, home of Bruce Springsteen and Bon Jovi, and, and you don't see poverty or food lines. And, and it, was, it was here, it became personal. Um, because up to this moment in my life, hunger was this third world problem, something that was very far away. Maybe something you saw in a TV commercial that, that affected people in Africa or in an inner city like New York or Los Angeles. Um, but not home, not, not, my, not my town. No one had told me about this. And I realized that you can't actually fix a problem unless you know it exists. Awareness is key. We need to make people aware 
that these problems are facing every single community. And as I did more research, and as I started to study, I learned that hunger truly was everywhere. Whether it be, you know, over 1.3 million New Yorkers or a quarter of the people in Delaware that rely on food banks. Or even here in Chicago, over 800,000 people in Cook County that are struggling to find a meal. Um, hunger truly is everywhere. Um, so it, it really was just this simple premise. Movers go into the home, uh, they educate people about local hunger issues, and they give a simple action step, a simple way for people to donate their food and bring it to the local food bank. I was pumped. Um, 23 years old, uh, you know, my family's company did this. Every mover should do this. This, is, this. this should be a thing. Why wasn't this a thing? We needed to make this the thing. Um, so I started calling up moving companies in New Jersey. Hi, my name's Adam. I'm calling with Move for Hunger. Click. Hi, my name's Adam. I'd like to tell you about this great new organization. Click. Everyone hung up on me. Literally, every single person hung up on me. And, and first I was sad, and then I was angry, and then I got depressed again, and then I realized that if some random charity that I'd never heard of started calling me, I'd probably hang up on them too. Um, so I realized that cold calling was totally not my thing. Um, I realized we needed to create relationships uh, with, with van lines and moving associations and even the chair of the National Council of Moving Associations who's here in Illinois. She sits on our board to help us make Move for Hunger an industry standard, something that every relocation company should and can be doing each and every day. Um, and as we grew, uh, we realized that this was something that was going to create value uh, throughout this entire industry. Um, you know, people want to work with socially responsible businesses. Companies want to be socially responsible. This was actually something that was driving them business. By going into a home and saying, not only are we going to move you, but we're going to help the community, it's something that they can, they can do to increase their sales and give back. And obviously, most importantly, we found a way to put food on the table and reduce food waste. Um, as we've continued to grow, we've launched more programs, hundreds and hundreds of food drives every single year. We've launched real estate programs to increase awareness, corporate housing programs, and we've even expanded into Canada. And as we turn five this year, I'm proud to say that we've mobilized over 600 moving companies and 4,000 realtors all across North America. Thank you. <laughs> um, and these companies have delivered enough food to provide over 3 million meals to individuals in need. And we are only getting started. We're really, really just scratching the surface of what can be done and what needs to be done. Um, so, you know, why do we do this? We do this because the fact that one in six Americans struggle with hunger, but one in eight Americans relocate. All we did was connect the dots. We found that opportunity to, to change something so simple and create value. And what I urge all of you in this room today to think about is what other opportunities are out there? What resources are out there that aren't being tapped and used to their full potential so we can create impact and change communities and better business and actually help people that truly, truly need it? Um, I want to thank you all so much for having me here today. My name is Adam Lowy, and I move for hunger.